Okay, so this is the first video of two. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and install the software for the side time time machine. Um, so with, with time machine, what's nice is that, as you can see on the box, we can take any field programmable oscillator and set the frequency, the voltage, and the temperature stability um, all on the fly once you already have it. Uh, so this is nice, it gives you a lot of flexibility and lets you um, save a lot of shipping time, actually, so um, for, for rapid prototyping. So inside the package, um, you can see what we have here. We have samples and instructions on the left. Um, up top, we have the time machine itself, the small white puck. Um, below that, you have sockets for different oscillator sizes. Uh, you have our software on a flash drive. You have a USB cable to power and connect to the time machine. And then you have a pair of tweezers, which we'll, we will use in a moment for loading up oscillators into it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do today is install the software. So we just pop out the flash drive like this, set that to the side, and we'll take the, the flash drive and install, uh, plug it into our computer. And just like installing any piece of software, we will um, open up the flash drive folder and run setup uh, right there. And so you can see this dialog box comes up. Um, the .NET framework already has a green check mark next to it because we've already installed it on this computer. Um, if it doesn't have a green check mark, then you just click on the install button next to it. Um, and that's talked about in more detail in here, but it's a, it's a pretty quick and easy process. Um, so what we're going to do is just install the Time Machine software right here. So we click on the install button. And after a moment, it will pop up the installation dialog. Um, and so we just follow it through, click next. We agree to the terms of the license agreement, next. Um, and we can just install it in the default location. Um, so now it's installing. While that's going on, I'm going to grab the time machine out of the box. Oh, we need to click on yes here to allow it to uh, install. So. Um, there are two bits we're going to use in a second, the, the time machine and the USB cable. So we just take the USB cable and plug one end into the computer when we pop out the flash drive. Okay, flash drive is out. So we take the USB cable and plug it in. And then the other end, we just plug it into the time machine. And you can tell that it's powered uh, because of this red LED that's shining through the uh, package. So we're all good to go here. Um, and so as part of the installation process, it created a shortcut on the desktop right here. So we're just going to double click on the time machine uh, shortcut. This opens up the software and installs any additional drivers. Um, and then what we're looking for is we can see in the bottom left it says connected and ready. So that means we're good to go and we're ready to start programming some oscillators. So that's the end of this video. This was the software installation. In the next video, we're going to start from here and actually um, uh, put some oscillators into the time machine and program them.